All right, so this is a suggestion from Patreon. Uh, the name of the song is Fast Lane by the artist Eminem and Royce to Five Nine. Listen, if you are new here, please like and subscribe. The more that you like this content, the more that I know that you specifically would like to see more of this specific type of content, okay? Uh, so we have the lyrics pulled up just in case we need them, and we generally do. Why um, Eminem? We go through this all the time, guys. All right, let's go ahead and jump into it. <clears throat> My life is riding on the Autobahn on autopilot. The Autobahn, no speed limit, name of the song, Fast Lane. Okay, we're here um, on autopilot. So he's saying that his life is moving extremely fast by him. Um, and he feels as if he has uh, somewhat of uh, no control. He has control issues here. All right, uh, let's get it. I kill you. My natural sign is much worse. Is good. You've been born if you've been born or if you conform. Slap up a cop in the snatching mind of his uniform. Leaving with socks, hard bottoms, and bloomers on. And hanging by his balls from the horn of a unicorn. Y'all niggas in the leg mad slow. Y'all fags no. Claiming you banging, you flaming. Bet you could light your own cigarette with your asshole. Um, I don't think this would work in this time period, guys. I don't think so. Um, he says a lot of things that I'm not going to repeat here, right? Why? 2021. All right. Um, okay. The intellect is slow. You homosexuals know, right? Um, claiming that you're banging, you're flaming. This is a very um, derogatory thing to call someone who is gay, uh, you know, flaming in this instance here. Um, then he says you could light your own cigarette with your a-hole. So basically, yeah, you, you get the drift, right? This is very, you know, let's get it. Ooh, dead at the past. I might rap as tight as the snatch of a fat. Okay, that's what we're doing. That's what we're doing, guys. I mean, that um, that may be tight, potentially. But there are, like, utensils that could be used to, that, that most likely are being regularly used to, uh, you know, to widen the, uh, the orifice, potentially. They're generally plastic, and they flop around. You know what I mean? So don't, you can't just be like, oh, I expect this because you can't expect that because of the get what I mean. Let's get it. Let's get it. I might rap tight as the snatch of a fat dyke. Though I ain't rap tight. My blood types the eighties. My blood types the eighties. Respect. Hip hop at its at its like like most interesting, I would say, right? 80s, 90s, definitely, guys, right? So if your blood type is the 80s in hip-hop, respect, sir. Rock him, Eric B., come on. My 90s was like the Navy, you was like the Brady's. You still fly kites daily. Catch me in my... You were like the Brady's, bro. He had it rough, right? And your life was like the Brady Bunch. Keep that in mind. My 90s was like the Navy, you was like the Brady's. You still fly kites daily. Catch me in my Mercedes. You still fly kites daily. Uh, flying a kite is interesting because it could mean that, um, well, the Brady Bunch most likely were flying kites and shit like that, right? Um, but to fly a kite means to, like, send a letter in jail also. So I live it to the fullest like I'm Swayze. Ghost Patrick Swayze. All right, we're here. A paradise, life's crazy, so I live it till the fullest till I'm Swayze, and you only live it once. So I'm thinking about this nice, nice lady. Wait, don't stop me now for I get on a roll. Dang. Let me tell you what this pretty little day. Don't stop me now till I get on a roll. A Danish. I love it. Let's get it. Nice lady. Wait, don't stop me now for I get on a roll. Dang. Let me tell you what this pretty little dame's name is, because she's kind of famous, and I hope that I don't sound too heinous when I say this. Nicky Minaj, what I want to stick my penis in your head. Was that, was that before surgery or after surgery? Because I'm sure most likely you'll need just a little more meat now to, to, to reach the orifice. Most likely. 
potentially. This man sounds a whole lot like Nate Dogg, dude. He sounds a whole lot like Nate Dogg. I've never seen this. I've never heard of this guy in my life. Let's go. Only have a gallon of my gas tank. Yeah, this is a banger, bro. My slow flow is euphoric. It's like I rap endorphins. Potentially, bro. Potentially. You do. I feel. You know, good when I hear you rap, sir. So, uh, maybe. Made a pack with the devil that says I'll let you take me. You let me take a shovel, dig up the corpse of Jack Kevorkian. Go back and forth and Moby. Dr. Death? Jack Jack Kevorkian. I never knew the guy's first name. You just told me, bro, I learned something today from Royce here. I never knew his name was Jack, but I know the name Kevorkian. The only reason you're going to mention Kevorkian is Dr. Death, bro. The guy who said basically dying isn't a crime or something like that. Where he basically would like... I mean, I get it. It's a touchy situation, you know, uh, Kevorkian or Dr. Death, right? It's a really touchy situation. Example, <clears throat> let's say you had a terminal disease and you know within, I don't know, a month or so you're going to die. What if you had the option to just end it medically, painless? That's what Kevorkian was doing. But at the same time, I absolutely understand. You're legitimately extinguishing someone's life, sir. Right? But also at the same time, he would do, um, what's good? What is, like, okay, you get into a terrible, terrible accident, and you're like, I don't really want to live my life in this specific situation any longer. He would do medically assisted extinguishing. Do you understand? I don't know. I don't know how I feel. I'm, I'm kind of on, like, the edge of, like, both sides here. Because, like, I'm like... Well, how do you even deal with, with Kevorkian, right? But anyhow, um, Dr. Death, um, he wants to go dig, you know, dig up the corpse of, of Dr. Death. All right, let's get it. Ooh. Hold on. If his slow flow was euphoric, what is this? Oh, this is a whole lot, bro. I think he set that up. Yeah, because in the beginning of this verse, like specifically, he was like, yo, my slow flow is euphoric. All right, cool. Um, that he raps endorphins. You get what I mean? So now he's onto this fast flow, double time. What is this then, sir? This is like a whole bottle of narcotics. Let's get it. Shovel, dig up the corpse of Jack Kevorkian Go back and forth and my beef Do you get back a fork in? I'm living the life of the infinite enemy down My tenement and Timmy now The semi the remedy pal Spin them around Entering in the vicinity Now it's called them in anybody Do it again and ain't the rap I chew them up and spit it in my mouth Okay, now listen That was an absolutely dope transition um and this is a cypher feel i absolutely love about hip-hop i'm living the life of the infinite enemy down my tenement and timony now the semi the remedy pal spin them around entering in the vicinity now it's called them and anybody do it again and ain't the rap i chew them up and spit it in my mouth go get up not get get down mm -hmm. looking around this club and it looks like people are having a shit pick now get a little to trailer trash take a look who's back and tip the town did us this not a motherfucker fuck them all he's just the home of the fucking wall i'll get it down every time he comes up around and he came for the club tonight with five nine to hold this bitch down like a motherfucker Is he still talking about Nicki Minaj? Let me know in the comments. If you don't give him your whole head, he'll just take it. Keep that in mind. Now we know. He kind of repeated himself because in the first setup, he says, 
if you don't give this to me, you're going to get decapitated. Then he basically says the same exact thing again and says, oh, then he, well, I guess then he explains the bar. Bro, you don't have to explain the bar. We're here for this. Let's get it. Wait on top of the app after taking that. I'm a catchy case. It's going to be fascinating. This going to say the whole rap ain't passed away on top of the app for David. Graduated from master debater slash massive masturbator to Michael Jackson's activator. Meaning I'm on fire off the top. Might want to back up data. Well, <sighs> you didn't do that, bro. That wasn't that was some that was some a-hole shit, bro. All right. Listen, I don't know if you guys are, were there for it or or you knew of it. Michael Jackson's hair caught on fire one time at a commercial. Right. This is the reason I think why he like started wearing like wigs or like toupees or something like that. I don't know. I wasn't there. Right. But he, yeah, so he was doing a commercial for Pepsi. Right. And literally the products in his hair caught on fire and his head was just on fire. There's a video, I think, somewhere. Um, I think is it a video. No, they just showed it in the movie. Apologies. It's not it's not a video. But yeah. So. What's the beef with Michael Jackson, bro? All right, what's the beef? Let's get it. Activated on Michael Jackson's activator, meaning I'm on fire off the top. Might want to back up data. Well, I'm over here popping a verbal tractor trailer. How many sick? You can normally ask a hater. Don't it make sense? These shell cases, it's just like a bag of paper dropped in the lap of a tax evader. How many spin? I make that ass drop like a sack of potatoes. What girl on the crack a later? Percolator this party. Be my penis ejaculator later. Tell your boyfriend that you just dropped paid it. You're rolling with a player. You won't be exaggerating when you say you're living life in the fast lane. I love the ad libs. I absolutely love the ad libs. It's kind of like the harmonies and the uh, the chorus itself. It's fire, bro. <laughs> Buttons. Crooked eye. Yeah, dope track, guys. No complaints. Zero, right? Listen, now let me know in the comments next one of these from them or him I should be listening to, and I will get to it as soon as I possibly can. All right? Listen, uh, you guys all have an amazing day and enjoy it thoroughly. Mm -hmm.